Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. Now let's talk about steps to find pH of a weak electrolyte. So I, I have taken an example of a weak acid and I want to find what is the pH of the weak electrolyte. So let's see how we do. So, so we will generally use the Bory, uh, Lowry and Bronsted in the creation of the acid and base. We will not use the Lewis one where we talk about the uh, electron gain transfer. We will talk about the uh, uh, Lowry and the Bronsted acid and base definition where we talk about the proton donor and the proton excitor. Right? We will write the balanced possible reactions and we will uh, we'll write which one is acid and which one is base. Right? Will the reaction with higher K is, K is the primary reaction? Or there is second reaction. Please note this point. If you have more than one reaction, we'll take some examples of this. You find the value of K for all. The one with the higher K will be the primary reaction. Because to find pH, you need only one reaction, right? You can't have, have five reactions. So the next step is to find the primary reaction if you have more than one reaction. And how you can do it, you can find the K of all the reaction, the one with the maximum value of K is the primary reaction. Right? And we'll uh, put everything in the tablet form. We'll put the initial concentration, the, change, the degree of ionization, the equilibrium concentration. Example, initial concentration was C, degree of ionization is alpha, the equilibrium concentration will be C into 1 minus alpha for the products. The reactant will be C alpha and C alpha. We'll take this as an example to explain this. So we, we have written all the concentrations here and then we'll substitute uh, <coughs> the value of we'll, we'll create a K and we'll put all these values and we'll solve it, we'll get the value of alpha. So we have if you have a K, it'll be something like uh, we have this value, right? K alpha K was C alpha square by minus alpha, right? So we'll put the value of K, we'll put the value of C, we'll get the value of alpha. We'll solve for alpha, and then we have, once we have the alpha, we have the equilibrium constant for all the species. Right? So we'll have equilibrium concentration for all the species. So we'll have equilibrium concentration of H plus also. So just get the minus log of H plus to get the pH. We'll take an example for this. So it says the degree of ionization for HF is 3.2 into balance 4 and the degree of disassociation for HF is in its uh, 0.02 m solution we have to find that and we have to calculate the concentration of all these values and also find the pH. So the reaction is something like this I have HF let's react to H3O plus and F minus. You have to add water here in the first. This is my reaction. This is aqueous, this is liquid, this is aqueous, this is that. Correct. So, this is one reaction. Also, since there is water there, water will also react to form H3O plus and OH plus. So, K for this is what? 3.2 into 20 by minus. And for this, K, W is what? Can't be one minus four. Make sure it's bigger. This guy is bigger. So we'll ignore this reaction. We'll take this reaction. This is my primary reaction, right? This is my primary reaction. The first part is done. I wrote a balanced equation. I got the primary reaction. Let me write this primary reaction once again here. Just draw a line here. So I have this uh, HF plus H2O gives H3O plus plus F minus. This is my primary reaction. So at T is equal to 0, I had 0 0.02 M solution. This was 0. This is not, ignore this is pure liquid. This was 0 and this is 0. At T is equal to equilibrium, this becomes 0 0.02 into 1 minus alpha. This becomes 0 0.02 into alpha and this becomes 0 0.02 into alpha. Because alpha is, we have to find degree of disassociation. So you want to find K. K is what? 0 0.02 alpha into 0 0.02 alpha, right? These two divide by 0 0.02 into 1 minus alpha. This cancels and this value is given 3.2 into 10 to the power minus 4. So you solve, you get alpha is nothing but 0.12 and minus 12. 
minus point of the ratio. So alpha negative is not possible. Ignore this value. Alpha is point one two and ten. So I have taken alpha as one two point one two. My degree of dissociation is point one two. This is my answer. The next one is to find the concentration of S three O plus now. So concentration of S three O plus will be equal to concentration of F minus. Both will be same, and both will be equal to C alpha. That is point zero two into alpha. Alpha is point one two. If you solve this, you get two point four into twenty four minus. Concentration of HF will be what? Point zero two into one minus alpha. One minus alpha is point one. So you solve this, you get one point seven six into twenty four minus. This part is also done. Now you define the pH. pH is nothing but so pH is nothing but minus log of H plus ion concentration. So minus log of what is the value of H plus ion concentration? Two point four into ten to the power minus three. Right. So we solve this. You get two point six two as well, and that is my answer. So let's take one more question. Here, uh, the pH is given. The pH is given. The initial concentration is given. We have to find the concentrations of the species that are given. Example, the reaction is we have H acid. It gives H A plus and A minus. If T is equal to zero, this was point one m. This was nothing. If T is equal to equilibrium, uh, the pH is minus four point. This is let's suppose minus one point m minus x. This becomes x and this becomes x. Right. So you define the value of x first. So x is nothing but what x plus ion concentration, and that is nothing but minus log of. Sorry, that is nothing but I can find the h plus ion concentration. How pH is given? pH is equal to point four point five. So if the pH is four point five. You can find h plus concentration that comes out to be three point six, three point one six into ten power minus. How pH is equal to four point five? That is minus log of h plus ion is four point five. So you solve this, you get h plus log of h plus is minus four point five. That is five bar point five, and h plus is nothing but anti log of this, and that is nothing but three point one six into ten power minus. So I got the h plus ion concentration. This is nothing but three point one six into ten power minus five. Also, we know that A minus ion concentration is also same. So my A minus ion is also equal to this value. So what is the value of H A concentration? That is point one minus x. This point one minus x we have got three point six into ten power minus three point one six. This is almost equal to point one. So to find K, K is what? K is my H plus ion concentration into A minus ion concentration divided by H A concentration, right? Simple formula we have. So let's put the values. This becomes three point one six into minus five into three point one six minus five by point. So if you solve this, you get one into ten to the power minus. That is my K A. K is all. I do want P K also. P K is what? P K is nothing but minus log of K. That is what? Minus log of ten to the power minus eight. If you solve this, you get eight. So P K A is eight. We'll take one more example. So we have to find the pH of a point zero eight m solution of a hypochlorous acid. Where the ionization constant is given, the reaction goes like this: We have HCl in the aqueous. Put some water here as a liquid. It becomes H3O plus and ClO minus aqueous. Right now, at T is equal to zero, it is told that is 0.08 m solution is 0.08. This is not required. This is zero. At T is equal to equilibrium. Let's suppose this becomes 0.08 minus x. 
this becomes x is equal to x. So I defined H3O plus, you can find easily, I can find KL, KA. K is what? X square by 0 0.08 minus x. That is concentration of H3O plus in the concentration of C0 minus by concentration of HOL. HOCL because H2 is ignored. And this is given 2.5 into K by minus. Correct. So with this, if you solve the value of x, comes out to be 1.41 by minus. This is nothing but my H plus ion concentration. So my pH is what? Minus log of H plus ion concentration, that is this guy, 1.41 into the power minus. If you solve this, you get 2.85 as the pH. And that is my answer. Done. Second is you define percent dissociation of HOCl. So percent dissociation is what? This guy, uh, x by 0 0.08 minus x. See that is percent dissociation is nothing but percentage of HOCl dissociated this is x by sorry the, the, the number of HO plus ion dissociated by the number of uh, HOCl undissociated. So this will be x by 0 0.08 minus x into 100 because I'm making a percentage. So you solve this, you get 1.76%. Put the value of x, you get 1.76 percentage. That is that. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.